I'm like, life goes on. For you. No, for, for both you, of us. For you. But she is forever now stuck with your kids, and she's not going to be able to meet a man. And, and yes, the same fuck she way, can. bro. No, it's not the yes, same. Yes, she can. She can fuck whoever she wants. I don't give her a shit. Life, it does, it's not about what you give a fuck. She has to take care of your kids. Our kids. Right. I just said your kids. Our kids. Yes. But so that does not mean we have to be together. That's not. I'm, okay. What? Okay. When she had your kids. Yeah. She gave up her life to be their mother because what man right now is going to want to come into the picture and take care of triplets and her? No, that's the difference because a lot of niggas not going to do that. Exactly. A lot of exactly. But, but I did it. But they're your kids. No, no, my girl has four kids. Okay. Hey there, and welcome to another episode of Tacos and Shawarma. We're here with our special guest today, Giovanni Watson, entertainer, comedian, man of all trades, and of course, your host, Alan Sebastian. How What's are you up? today? I'm blessed, man. I'm so happy to be here. Thank you, Sebastian. Thank you, Ellie, 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 Ellie. Yeah, Ellie. we're so happy to have you. Thank you. I'm, I'm happy to be had. I had to harass him like the whole week, every day, I would just like text him and call him to make sure that he was going to come. She actually told me like it was yesterday morning. She was like, I don't know if he's going to show up. I think we might have to find a replacement. <laughs> no, I was in rehearsals yesterday and, you know, and I, I look at this text. And it says, like, yo, don't Hollywood me, bro. I'm like, <laughs> I would never do that to you. I'm like, I have to send her a video like we're just finishing rehearsal right now. I will be there. I was going to call her this morning and act like I couldn't make it just to piss her off. No. But I said, I don't want to do that to that her. That would have been I, so yeah, funny. I, I, I should have did it. No. But no, I'm here for her. I love no. her. And I love you. It's nice meeting you. You got a good spirit. Yeah, thank you. I try. Uh, yeah, she she gets very... Uh, she yeah. We have this thing because she always talks about text messages. Mm -hmm. And then she wants people to answer her text messages <laughs> within like five minutes, 20 minutes. An hour is pushing it. She gets mad if it's been an hour. But this week happened to be one of those weeks I fell off because I I have her text. I literally, dude, I have a dedicated window on <laughs> iMessage just for her texts. Mm -hmm. So that when they come in, I answer them right away. And I don't understand why she blew up. Not blew up, but she told me, don't holler with me, bro, because when I was scrolling up, it was all gray. No blues. <laughs> <laughs> I, was, I wasn't replying to shh. Can I curse? Yeah. I wasn't replying to shit. <laughs> she was pissed yeah, at that point. I was point. tight. I was texting people. You want to call? Do you have kids? I, need, <laughs> I want to talk about co-parenting. I, I almost found a replacement, but he was at LAX. I was like, oh, can't work. You, you was gonna replace me? No, because I thought you weren't coming. I told you I was gonna come. I know, but then you didn't answer me. I was like, fuck, he's he's not coming. I would never do that to you, like oh. my dad did to me. Oh, that's a joke. It's actually kind of funny. Truth. Yeah. Well, <laughs> most jokes are a tragedy. Uh, what is it? Fifteen uh, percent of it is real. Yeah, tragedy plus time equals comedy. Yes, and I have a lot of tragedy. <laughs> That's the way it works. Um, I posted this video that uh, I got like a lot of hate comments that I said that three hundred dollars is not enough for child support, and like I have like a lot of men just like saying that it is enough. What do you feel since since you have kids and you co-parent? What do you think about that? Well, first of all, I don't co-parent. I don't know what that is. <laughs> I, I've never experienced a great co-parenting situation. I have four beautiful daughters. Okay. Uh, my oldest is 20. Wow. She's in college, and I have triplets that are three. And um, I had my oldest when I was like 16. Wow. And that, we were kids, raising kids. Mm -hmm. And um, I didn't know what co-parenting is. I still really... Don't know what that feels like, but it like to answer your question about the three hundred dollars, it's something because there's a lot of niggas out here that's not doing anything. Yeah, but that's not, that shouldn't be an option. Anything or something should not be an option. Like I think that if a woman has to go work, then she can't be a good mother. Like yeah. to be honest with you, like if you're if you're worried about your roof every day or like worried about your job, there is no way in hell you could be a good mother. Well, let me ask you this because you know. There's a lot of men out there that are fathers and want to be in their children's life and are being withheld for being in their children's life for financial reasons, for a dollar bill. Now, I'm not saying that um, it doesn't take money. It does take money to help raise a child. Mm -hmm. Right now, it's almost like at a million dollars in a lifetime from birth to 18, a million dollars for to, to raise a child, feeding them, providing you know food and, and clothing. 
Um, That's but the easiest part yeah, but, of raising but, a child. It, but it's, it's a lot of men out there that aren't able to get jobs because they have felonies. Mm -hmm. They're counted out and they're not able to pay. So I feel like if a man is contributing some type of way, the best he can, opposed to men who aren't doing shit, I think it should be appreciated until that man can do better. Yeah, if he's doing the best he can. But if he has more than that, he should give more. Well, if he has more than that and that's all he's giving, then he's a piece of shit. Right. That's what I'm saying. And what I was saying is that if you got yourself involved with a piece of shit, it's nobody's fault but your own. You goddamn skip. I know for a fact if I was making a certain X amount of money, I wouldn't be on child support because I'm going to voluntarily make sure that, hey, I know I make this amount of money. Me and you, let's make an agreement about what's comfortable for me, what's comfortable for you. Because the thing I hate the most is having a third person tell me how to raise or when to see or to pay for my child, meaning a judge. Right. I didn't I didn't have sex with this judge. <laughs> Bless you. Thank you. I didn't have sex with this judge. I had yeah. sex with you. So me and you should come up with this. But we got this third person telling me and you how we're going to facilitate our children. That's not cool. And I'm going through that shit right now. I don't know, but why does the woman have to take all the responsibility? No, it's not about the woman taking all the responsibility. It, it, it's, it, takes to, it, take, it took two to make the baby. Right. So it should take two to raise them. But sometimes, right, but, you're, you don't, but sometimes it doesn't work out. So what do you do? So if it doesn't work out, I mean, you have to understand, okay, you're going to go your way, I'm going to go mine. Mm -hmm. Since we're going our separate ways, we're going to co-parent. Right. But it's hard to co-parent. Parent, it is hard if there's a lot of things still involved feelings, mm -hmm. emotions, hate, bitterness. I know guys that pay a lot of money in child support and still can't see their children because you know why the woman wants to hurt her, hurt, hurt the man. Mm -hmm. I'm going through that. The child, the mother of my children told me, The way you hurt me, I'm going to hurt you. And she knows how much I love my children, have not seen my children. In about six months, my triplets, I cannot FaceTime them. She won't allow me. You know what she tells me? Mm -hmm. Well, when you pay my phone bill, then you can FaceTime them all you want. Yeah. Now, mind you, I was put on child support unknowingly. One day I got something in the mail that says, <laughs> I'm back on child support like $16,000. Oh, shit. And I never knew about this. I never, I never saw a judge for this. Okay. I never heard a gamble hit and says, the last time I saw a judge, he told me the next time we come to court, we're going to talk about how much you make. But here's what she did. Mm -hmm. And this is what I know what she did. Mm -hmm. I'm an actor. Right. I've been on a lot of things God has blessed me with. The, net, the, 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 net, the, the internet says I'm worth $18 million. So the fuck, internet says the you're internet worth $18 million. The internet says Giovanni Watson is worth $18 million. But it goes up and down. One man was 10, 18, 8. So she goes probably to the sit to the state. Mm -hmm. Look, look at all these movies he's been in. No, no, no. Look at all no, these that's TV not, shows. That's not how no, it works. no, listen, no, listen. Okay. No, listen. Because listen, look at all these movies he's been in. Look at all these TV shows. Because when I went to see the judge, she asked me what I do for a living. Uh -huh. So I'm I'm self-employed. I'm an actor. I'm SAG after it. Okay. So pretty much I'm a freelancer. But you have tax returns, right? I have tax returns, but here's the, the, the thing is, I couldn't prove how much I made or was making because I hadn't shot a show or a movie in quite a while. So at this time, I'm, I'm living So you're broke. definitely not worth $10 million then. So it, nobody's going to give you a, a, a ruling for $10 million in child support if you can't even show that you make any, like you're, you're in between jobs. And you're making my point more valid because that's what I'm saying. I got sentenced to pay child support when I never was told that I had to pay child support. But don't you think you have to pay child support whether a judge tells you or not? Absolutely. Yeah. But I'm not paying what this X amount of number is. I said, listen, ain't nobody living this long. What do you mean? I'm not going to disclose the amount. Oh, no, I'm not asking ain't the... But nobody ain't nobody living this long. But you have triplets. Yeah. And, and so that basically, shit is expensive. Three, so just think three hundred fifty dollars per child. But we live in L.A. But here's the thing: Do you know the government helps people or women and and couples with government assistance assistance if you have twins or more? No, I didn't know that. They do. I know, but what if what if the woman makes more than she doesn't qualify for that because she her she has a good job. 
she she has an okay job, but she has triplets. The the state is helping her. But I, I'm not saying because the state is helping her that I not I should not be not doing my part. But my thing is this: I'm going to pay my child support, mm-hmm. but I'm not going to be put to a position where the only way I could see my children if I pay my child support. Because Abraham Lincoln, Ben Franklin can't be there for my children when they get their heart broke. They can't be there for them at their dance recital or their chilling games. I'm not saying that it doesn't take money to help raise a child. It's a necessity. It's a need. But for the men who are out there who are contributing the best way they can, it's better than nothing. Right. The best way they can. If they, But if they have more, they should give but more. But if they have more, they should give more. Now, they, they, they should if they, if they have more. Okay, now hypothetically speaking, if you were worth $10 million, like they said on, on Google, right? 18. 18 million. Don't take away my eight. <laughs> okay. Would you would you try to help your baby mom as much as possible so she wouldn't have to work so she could be if a full time mom? If I was worth 18 million, which means if I'm worth that, that means I probably have eight million in the bank. Here's a million dollars, mother of my children. You would do that. Because people are saying, fuck her. Dollars. doesn't matter if I make... Because, no, a lot of comments are saying, like, I don't care what I make. Well, no, she well, should take one, care of herself. But that's not how it works. Circle back to the idea that right now she's playing emotional terrorism, right? Like, if you're going to be giving money, you're also going to be seeing your children. Like, if if I'm going to step up and give you a well, million women dollars, feel like I'm, that... going, I'm going to be seeing my children. Right. right? But if you're going to be doing this emotional fucking terrorism bullshit, fuck you. That's exactly what she's that, doing. That's, that is not the name of the game. You don't get... Your cake and eat it too. They're not you don't get to, to be house. a piece of shit and demand money. Yep. I don't know. Like my kid's father won't give me his address, so I don't. I'm like, you. He can't come to your. He can't come to your house because I don't know where you live. And, okay. And you know why he doesn't give you his address? Yeah, because he doesn't want to be served. You fucking right. Okay, so then do the right thing and you won't be served. What the fuck do you mean? So I don't want to be served. I don't want to do the right thing. I want to drive a Porsche. I have money and I don't want to do shit for you, but give me my kid. No, fuck you. So you, and that's the problem right there. Because the the mother of my children does that same shit. What? Oh, you just want to come over and see the kids, take your pictures, take your videos and post it like you're a good father. Being a good father is not just about a dollar cent. No, it's not. It's not. Okay, it's also about because being responsible. If, so if I, can I say something? If I send my kids to you, and every time I send my kids to you, you got different women around, you're drinking, you're fucking, like, you're on your phone. I got little kids, three-year-old toddlers, like, you're, they're not coming to your house. If you have stairs, you don't have a baby gate, your shit is not together, they're not coming to your house, Here's bro. The thing. Because I'm, my kid is not going to die or be in the hospital because you're irresponsible and you think it's like, oh, it's my kids, all fun. These kids can hurt themselves, they can burn themselves, like, and, and me, like, you know, it's me, not safe. Let me correct you on that as a father. Okay. I drink, I smoke hookah. Okay. And this is another thing the mother of my ch- the daughter the mother of my children brought up. Oh, you drink? Yeah, I do. Yeah. But I know if my three nuggets are with me, I'm not drinking. But how does I'm she know that? Them. As a responsible, it doesn't matter. What do you mean it, it doesn't, doesn't matter? You don't have kids. You're, you don't have e- kids. Equal, equal, how a does I don't give a fuck that. if I don't have kids. It's just fucking sense. It's what do you like, mean? If you, what do you if mean? If you are no longer in a situation in which you're parenting with somebody, right, and you guys are not in terms to parent together, when the kids are with him, he's the father. You butt out. When the kids are with you, he yes. buds out. It's mm-hmm. that simple. No, you no longer have the right to interject in his parenting decisions. So he can get drunk and the kids can get hurt and that's okay. You would hope thing. not. You're assuming, right? You're assuming that he's going to be drunk with his child there. When actually a father's love is no more than what a woman's love is. See, women, and this is no disrespect to the women, women get all the praise because they carry the child for nine months. They have the child. Automatically, the program, the system is programmed for the child to be with the mother because of that. But here's the thing. Us, we carry the seed. You are the water to the seed to grow it and make it ferment to reality. As a father with me, being a father for 20 years, I know I'm not going to put my children in any type of situation. If I know I'm going to pick up my nuggets, Giovanni, you ain't drinking today. You got the girls today, you ain't drinking today. I don't got the girls tomorrow. Oh, we can have a little good time. Then all of a sudden, hey, I'm going out with my girls. Can you watch the girls tonight? Absolutely. 
put the put the put the hookah up. Uh, all right, let me start drinking water because these are lives at stake, and that I know that I care more than for myself. I would die for my children. Can I ask you something? You can ask me anything you want. Okay, so let's say I was your kid's mother, right? Mm-hmm. And I had triplets. Mm-hmm. Okay, I have one kid. I have mm-hmm. a hard time with one. Mm-hmm. That's me. You know what I mean? And I'm a woman. I'm not like you know. Maybe some women it's easier for me. It's hard but even with one. If I had three. I would be scared to give them to a guy who's not a parent full time because I'm like, how could he? If I can't handle them, like, that's your how own insecurity. Is he gonna handle you're projecting. Them? No, I'm just, I'm just talking. Yeah. I'm just, I'm what just I'm saying, saying that's what your I own think. Insecurity. You sound just like her. That's the exact same shit she says. But to me. it's just we we're just trying there's, to say there's a key the difference. Safety, because we're worried about the safety of the kids. So a man can't we all be, die for our kids. But one, there's a key. You you out, you already have a child who's twenty years old. I have a who baby can actually, who's twenty years old. She can actually speak to your. But her your mom level. raised her, right? Huh? Her mom was the main caretaker. I'm not talking bad we about. We both you. raised my oldest daughter, but her mother was more in the the, the picture. Because I was, I'm sorry, I was a professional dancer. I was on tour with the biggest artists in the world. Touring the world. Right. But we don't get that option. We have to pass on the biggest opportunity in the world. But I was we're providing. Mothers. Oh, okay. Then that's different. I was providing. Yeah. So he, he already has one kid that we can say yes. turned out all right. She's Great. in college, right? Dance. So Clark parenting. But he, wasn't, good. but he wasn't around. He was providing. Yeah. I've been but in my daughter's life no, since no, she no. was one kid. I know. Good. I didn't say you're not. Okay. But I, don't want to... I, missed, no, I missed a few birthdays. I missed some dance recitals because I was working to provide. But we moms don't miss birthdays and dance recitals. But there's a difference. The man's job is to protect and provide. Right. So now well, women are providing, protecting, and being the full-time parent. And that shit is hard. And we're mad about it. But like, man, obviously, but, we're pissed off. But when a man's not providing, you get mad. Well, she's mad at herself. In order for us to all. provide, we have to be away. Yeah, first of all, she's But then when she we're away, then we get shitted on but, because but, we're but not there. But they're not providing when they're away either. You're, you're, they're making your our Your particular lives situation, the guy doesn't provide. The guy has real no interest in taking care of the kid, but you continue to bark up that tree. Like you continue. I'm not barking up any I, tree. I'm telling you. I'm I, just talking about my experience. Yeah. If you ask him, he's going to say he wants to be a dad. I don't think he doesn't have any interest. I think he loves his, his child for sure. I only know from. But yeah. But I didn't say he doesn't too, have interest. He in his mind, in his mind, he thinks I'm keeping his kid away from him. Because he's not providing more than $300. No, that's not why. Because he won't give me his address. I'm not dropping off my kid to somebody and I don't know where he's at. If something happens to him, where am I going to go? I concur with you. Okay. But is your plans to just to facilitate for that reason or to serve him? I've, to no, I don't him. have, I don't, I want to serve. I don't want to serve oh. him. Also, I've offered to give him my nanny to go with the kids and him so I can feel more comfortable that my no, child is that's safe. Not, I would never allow that. Why? Because now I'm not allowed to have intimate time with my child. I don't want but to be But if my supervised. child doesn't know you like that because you're not around in, in his life but like he has that. But it doesn't matter. He has to. And that's the thing with my, the mother of my children. When I used to, when I had supervised visits. He didn't go to the supervised to visits me. for when nine I had, months. Listen to me. I'm listening. When I had supervised visits for children I helped create, mm-hmm. it made me feel less than. Like I wasn't capable. I had to have somebody watching me watch my kids. It took, it took something for me. So if I have to be watched to watch my kids, is you and and every time my my my, my one of my nuggets would cry. Mm-hmm. The first thing the mother would do, intervene. Come here. If I'm going after one of my nuggets to pick them up, I got her. You're taking away my intimate time for my child to get to know me, to get to love me. To get to be comfortable with me. That's what some women do. Let when you if you have supervised visits or say you know you go and take your son and it's a like a birthday and you're both there together, get the fuck out the way. That's what I try to do. And let him, if the boy, if your son is crying, let him be the one that's that that, that consoles him. Yeah, I think that's such Don't a- step in. It's such a bullshit expectation for women to then expect the men to respond the way that they would in a parenting situation. It's like now now I have my standards as a mother. I'm going to respond this way. And if you don't respond the same way, you're a piece of shit parent. It's such a terrible expectation. 
A father will respond entirely different to a child crying yep. or fussing yep. or like even in the way that you play around with a kid yep. is completely different as a father, Obviously. as a man, yep. than you are a woman. Yep. And of course, the woman will intervene and say, that's not the appropriate way to play with a child. I think. Well, who are you? I'm, I'm, I'm experiencing a bonding moment. Excuse yourself from the conversation. A, B conversation, C, see your way, way out. out. Yeah, I don't know. I just think that women like that raise their kids as a single mom. It's like we're very protective over our kids and we just want them to be safe. So Ellie. we just want a man to make us feel that he can oh keep them safe. It's not just about a single woman. It's a single father too. No, you're not a single father because it you're doesn't not matter if main... he's fucking how many bitches. No, 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 no. But they're not. But they're not with you, so you're not a single father. Do you know what a single father is? What? A single father is a man that he is the, the main caretaker of the child, and and the child lives with him, and he's by himself, and there's no woman around. That's what a single father is. If you're if your kid doesn't live with you, you're not a single father. If you see your kid once a month, twice a month, you're not a single father. That's a goddamn line. Ahead. Okay, Google it. Would your let's just Google. Fuck about, so no. you mean to tell me you're saying the definition of a single father? Yes, is a father with the child living yes. with the father, yes. primary caretaker. Primary caretaker, absolutely. That's if you're just they just see the kid twice a week. You're not a single. father. But did father. you not hear me say twenty minutes ago or so, fifteen minutes ago, that the system is programmed automatically for the child or children to be with the mother? I mean, it's designed that way. Fine, but that does, still doesn't. That just because it's designed that way doesn't mean you're a single father. You're just, you know, cope. You're a father. You're not a single father because the child doesn't live with you. Why would you want to take the kids away from their mother? Like kids are attached. But why to their do y'all want to take them away from us? <laughs> I don't think we do. I think we're just trying to find a common ground, and the and what the men the don't entire fuck. <laughs> no, there is no common ground. What the in fuck in many of those situations? What do you mean? There's no compromise. There, but we're trying to compromise, and the guys are just not really cooperating. Compromising by saying, "Pay a pay this." Oh, but pay we're this amount paying. Of money. We are paying. I'm not saying that you guys don't need the help, but if a ma- okay, do me a favor. Yes. Pick up your phone. Okay. Can you put some more water in this cup for me? Pour it into that cup with your phone. Okay. Exactly. You can't do it. My point is you cannot ring out something. You can't make fucking something come. If, if, if a man doesn't have it. But why do, how do we have it? He can't it out of nowhere. How are we taking care of kids and we have it? Are you and a felon? You, and you guys don't have it and are you don't a have a kid at full time. Are you time. a felon? No, I'm not. I'm a, I'm an ex-felon. Okay. Do you know why it's hard for me to pay child support? Why? Because I can't get hired anywhere because I have a violent felony. Okay, so that alone is scary. And see, that's what they do. Now, they use what your past is against you in court, which my children, my mother did, and use it against you to get the fucking higher regard for the judge. Oh, he has a violent past, your honor. Yeah, beating somebody up that disrespected my child who who assaulted me by spitting in my face. So that same authority and violent that I had towards them is the same violent authority I'm going to have to protect my children. Okay, you going to ask you a question? You can a- I ask anything you want me to ask. Okay. If the mother of your ch- ch- children was a drunk, how would you feel about that? You'd be cool with it? If she was a fucking uh, functional at, drunk, you'd be okay with it. If she was a, as long as I know she ain't driving with my children. How do you know? I don't know exactly. But here's the thing: my mother was a crackhead, and that's and good. And she was an amazing mother to me. Amazing. I'm talking about crackhead, like hey Jimmy, Jimmy, I need that fix. But when she was with me and my siblings, mm-hmm. no matter how she was, that shit would turn off. She knew how to fucking function through her high so to make sure her children were fucking safe. So you were saying that you had a good childhood? No. Oh. Who did? <laughs> My childhood was <laughs> fucked. Okay, so then sh- but it made we me don't the man want I- that for our kids. But it ma- Exactly. That's why it made me the man I am today to be the father that I am and want to be. Me not seeing my children for six months. You know how much a child grows in six months? Yeah. A lot. 
And I don't think women really want to keep the father away. We yes, want y'all him. do. No, some of we, y'all do. We, we, I, for me personally, I, I would love my kid's father in his life, in my kid's life, but it just doesn't work out between us. Does, does he, does, he, I, you know what I'm saying? Sometimes the other person wants to be with you, and you don't want to be with them, and then they start, they, they take that out on the child. You know what I'm saying? Well, you, you, I mean, there's a lot of anger you got to get through first, too. Absolutely. Same thing with the daughter, the children, of my mother. The, the mother of my children. If, I always if, that up. If you sort of suspended your ego okay. for a little while. Yeah. And you got through the anger to actually could we, have... Can we talk about why we're angry? It I'm going to tell matter. you why the mother of my children are angry. Go ahead. Tell me. We was fucking. Okay. She started evolving feelings for me. Mm-hmm. Like I do at this time. I'm single. I'm fucking. Okay. I don't want no serious relationship. Mm-hmm. Then she goes through my phone, sees that I'm fucking Oops. other women. Mm-hmm. Continue on. I started dating and then I ended up being with a woman that she seen that I was talking to. Mm-hmm. And I chose her. And to this day, she hates me. In court, the judge recommended Miss Blah Blah Blah. Maybe can uh, Mr. Watson's um, current girlfriend come? No, no. She threw a fit. I don't want that bitch around my children because I chose her. I chose up. Mm-hmm. I chose her over her. And this is something that she told me. I don't want my kids around her. I'm like, life goes on. For you. No, for, for both you, of us. For you. But she is forever now stuck with your kids. And she's not going to be able to meet a man. And, and yes, the, the same fuck way, she can. Bro, no, it's not the yes, same. Yes, she can. She can fuck whoever she wants. I don't her give two life, it does. It's not about what you give a fuck. She has to take care of your kids. Our kids. Right. I just said your kids. Our kids. Yes. But so that does not mean we have to be together. Co- that's not... I'm, Okay. What? Okay. When she had your kids, yeah, she gave up her life to be their mother. Because what man right now is going to want to come into the picture and take care of triplets and her? No, that's the difference. Because a lot of niggas not going to do that. Exactly. A lot of exactly. But I, but I did it. But they're your kids. No, no. My girl has four kids. Okay. That are not mine, mm-hmm. and I came into the picture. And I don't call myself stepdaddy. Nothing. I don't say. I don't try to discipline them. Nothing. Right. You know, I do things out the kind of my heart for them because mm-hmm. I love them because of their... How old are they? They're, I think, 15 to 19. Okay, so that's not the same. It's not the same. But here's the difference. The mother of my children tells me, I don't have a life. I can't... She says, Ex- these, yes. She says these things. Yes. She and gave say, up her life to be your kid's parent, your mother. What? And she supports them and financially. Then if you want a life, then give me my kids when you want a life. If you want to go out and look for a nigga, if you want to go and have a it's girl's night, drop for- them off with me. I tell all the time, let's leave the court out of this. If you want to have a life, let my baby stay with me for three, four days. Yeah, if she trusted you, she would. She don't want him around my girl. It's a, it's, it's a, it's, I won't say insecure thing, but it's a bitterness thing, a hurt thing. But you don't think she doesn't trust you with the kids? Because you said you drank. I drank, so what? She, if a nigga smoke weed, Snoop Dogg smoke same. weed and he same. raised his kids not his whole same. life. I mean, but he's married. You're not listening to what I'm saying. Just because somebody ha- drinks or... First off, having a drink and getting drunk are two different things. Mm -hmm. If I want to have a fucking cocktail and watch The Righteous Gemstones, Mm -hmm. that does not make me an unfit father. If the mother of my children want to smoke a blunt after work, that does not make her an unfit mother. Right, you're right. But if we're taking care of the kids every fucking day and we don't, you're not around, so you don't know what they you're like, not to what me. they eat, how they, See, how they move. I hate that shit. <laughs> I hate <laughs> Just that shit. Just telling you the truth. You don't know what they like. You don't know what they eat. And because when I used to get it, then it's like this is this isn't the right brand. They don't like this brand. They like the the the. I, I mean, on food? on that front again, that's the whole expectation of the parenting thing that I have a problem with. It's like. No, what you did is you placated the kid to liking that brand because that's the brand you kept putting in front of him. And you were like, Come yes, on. baby, yes, my baby, you can have Come that brand. On. Nah, you're going to eat exactly what I put in front of you. No, this you're is not. what we're making. Excuse me, that's, that's ex- not how it works. That's my, son, exactly- my son, he only eats, he ha- He might be on the spectrum, he only eats specific things. Okay, so your son. So he's not going to eat your, what your you son, put in front of him. Obviously, your son's an exception. But right? there's because also some needs. picky eaters. But there's no. some kids that are picky. You don't, you don't placate that. Okay. You do not placate that. Whatever, bro. I know my kids love pizza. <laughs> I know they love um, the fruit cocktails. I know that they drink water. I know that they eat food. If you don't want to eat this, baby girl, baby girl, baby girl, okay. Can they talk? Then, yes, they, but they're bilingual. 
Okay, so, Spanish and so English. if they have poop in their diaper, they're not going to be able to tell you, right? So no, what if they have poop and you don't know because you're not used to changing their diaper? It's called and smelling sick. shit. Yeah, but Again, you- I've been a father for 20 years. I'm used to wiping shit out of somebody's ass. All right. I know the mannerism of a child when they use the bathroom. I can smell it. I can tell by the way she's walking. I can tell the way that di- diaper's pipe- piped up. See, fathers don't get enough credit. We don't get enough credit. It's always about the mother. And you guys do an amazing job. We appreciate you because without mothers or women, none of us would be alive. Right. But also without a man, none of us would be alive. Yeah, the men need to teach. They need to be the teachers of the world. Right? Let me tell you something. I'm going to tell this ponytail something right goddamn now. <laughs> Talk to the ponytail. I strongly believe. Yes. I'm going to say in Denzel, I strongly believe at a certain age, the child should be with the father. Because one thing, a father's going to be a great father in representation. This is for the men who actually want to be fathers. Okay. A, rep- a representation of what a man should be. And they and the daughter should be with the man so they could get a, represent- a good representation of what tr- a man's love is. But what if the kids are upset with the mom for, for sending them to the dad? They ain't got no choice. You ever seen Boys in the Hood? Trey didn't have no choice. But can they Angela still Bassett's see their character, mom? Can they... Angela Bassett's character uh-huh. said, you're going to stay with your father, Furious Styles, because it's time for you to learn to be a man. Right. And they were co-parenting. Okay. But she knew at some point he needed to be with his father. And with him being with his father mm-hmm. saved his life. When he got in that car with Ice Cube about to go get retaliation for Ricky's death, Furious Styles went through his mind, even though he disrespe- he oh, disobeyed his father, went out the window, got in that car on the way to go do this fucking drive by, whatever. He said, "Do stop. Let me out. Because you know why? His father implemented in his life. That's not your way of life to go. No, fathers are definitely needed. I'm not saying they're not needed. I'm saying we need them. We just, we just like... Need to figure out how to work together better. Not on your terms. That's the problem. Yeah, but if I'm the main care caretaker, it has to be on my terms. No, it's either you make the decision to be the primary caretaker, everything what happens do you mean on your make terms. The, we don't have a decision. We're mothers. We love our children. We're going to take care of them no matter the father's there or not. Fathers we're gonna, love we're gonna... their children too. So then you complete, you completely remove the father from the situation and you just go on your merry way raising the kid how you want to raise the kid. What do you mean? And why would I want to remove the father? If if I if there's a good father around, why would I well, want to remove him? You, but do you, that's not the situation that we're looking at right now. No, I'm to, I'm not talking about my situation. I'm talking about in general. No, well, I'm talking about specifics because it's all wanna... specifics. Everything is always specifics. Well, that's how I know my mother, the mother of my children, was pissed at me and didn't want me any way involved. She's asked me multiple times mm-hmm. to sign over my parental rights. I've done that. What the fuck does that mean? It means that I'm going to make all the decisions because I don't trust your decisions. Well, I didn't have a decision. I have not spent one birthday with my triplets, not one Christmas. Why? Let me finish. One Easter, one Halloween, one New Year's, one of my birthdays, no Father Day, not one in three years, not once. And you ask me why? Yeah, why? Because of a woman who hates and is still hurt and bitter from me and her mm-hmm. so situation. You, so you don't feel like you should try to maybe go to therapy? Or... I ain't going to therapy with this bitch. Why? To cope. Why? To, cope. To... I don't need... Listen, I'm not going... We're not anywhere intimately involved. It doesn't matter, but you have a child. To, you have children together and you want to be in I their lives. Tell, her solution is mm-hmm. pay this amount of money a month and you can see your kids. Pay my phone bill and you can FaceTime your kids. That's her solution. Right. I just asked you earlier to pour some water in this cup with your phone, right? Mm Mm-hmm. You couldn't do it. Did you do it? No. Why couldn't you do it? Because I had the phone in my hand. No. Why couldn't you pour water from your phone into my cup? Because there's no water in the phone. I get it. You don't have the money to give her that she wants. That's what you're saying. I got got you. Okay. You're picking on what I'm dropping. So if we try to co-parent, co-parent is okay. I understand, Giovanni, that you cannot pay this amount a month. But what can you do? Right. So when I reply and say, this is what I can do, 
Then we have you and her, or, or uh, that ain't enough. Well, you just ask me, what can I do? For right now, this is what I can do until God opens up that door that I know he's going to open up. Because when he opens up that door, here comes another problem. My current girlfriend says, I'm sure once you make it what you're going to be, you'll be taking care of that bitch. No, I'm not. I'm going to take care of my kids. Now, if I give her a million dollars, right? We talked about this, right, Sebash? Where is that million dollars allocated to? It better go to the kids. It better go to the kids, right? But we know it's not. Where is it going? Tell me where rent. it's going. I mean, the kids live there, right? I'm not, I'm not, rent, that's fine. Upgrading a better car. Okay. The kids are driving in the car, right? Mm. Her shopping. No, I agree. House, car, yeah. I need a reliable and car. food. Yeah, a reliable car is not a fucking G-Wagon. Right. You get Th- yourself go. a goddamn Toyota Corolla. Come on. And you fucking keep that car you maintenance. you fucking dumb? But she's been taking care of the kids this whole fucking time. So you deserve a G-Wagon? G-Wagon? Fuck oh the God. fuck? I didn't say a G-Wagon. No, nah, just... you tried to allocate <laughs> like she could get something nice. Why can't she get... If she's been the main provider for the child all these fucking years where you've been uh, no water in your cup and now you have a fucking river, now you're going to tell her where to put the water? But when she took care of the kids when you didn't have any water, what about all that money that you didn't pay? I'm not Kevin Hart. It's still about the kids. I'm what do you mean? Kevin it's Hart. about the kids. The, the, the I didn't kids, say a G kids, wagon, but don't you said a Toyota Corolla? Like who the fuck yeah, are you? Yeah. It's called car. saving money, and Toyota and Hondas are honestly one of the great manufactured cars. Uh, she wouldn't be caught dead in one. Never. That's the problem. I don't have a Toyota Corolla now. You have a fucking Mercedes right. that's like ninety thousand fucking dollars. So? It's gorgeous, by but the way. I'm yeah, it's, it's mine. Nice Mercedes. It's my Mercedes. <laughs> yeah, it's but mine. she and she paid for it herself. Yes, so I give her credit. Drive whatever car you want. But if somebody's gonna give you money, you don't fucking trade that car and try to like trade up. I'm not trading my car, but I'm. I'm not driving a Corolla ever. And if someone's going to give me money for my kid after I've been paying for all his shit all these years, you're not going to tell me what the fuck to do with it because it doesn't matter. No, it, it, yes, it does matter. No, because all the money is No, is it's not together. your money. Right. It's let the child. But the this child is, is living me with this. me. Let yes. me ask you this, my Israeli queen. Yes. When celebrities like Eddie Murphy, mm-hmm. Russell Crowe, all these people, they get sentenced to child support $60,000, $80,000 a month. Yep. The kid is five. Yeah. How is a five-year-old spending $60,000 a month? Thank you. That's a very small percentage of people. But it's where is the sixty and $80,000 uh, going to? To a lifestyle. Exactly. Mm. And that's the fuckery. To the schools, to the nannies, to the food, to the clothes. Yeah, because they got to keep up with, with the kids at the school. And so what? So that's, a very, that's a very small percentage of men. Most men can't even give us $300 a month. So why are you talking about Eddie Murphy? How many Eddie Murphys are there? There's a very small percentage of men that can give a woman $60,000. Most so women why, don't get shit. So why is Chris Brown paying only $2,500 a month for his oldest daughter? I don't fucking know. I don't know. I don't, I don't check people's child support. But I do. That's not enough. It's called good fucking lawyers. Yeah, good. And Chris look. Brown 25, makes six hundred thousand dollars a month. You think that's enough? Twenty five hundred a month is enough. For I forget how old royalty uh, royalty is, but twenty five hundred. See, nothing's never enough. You see, you see what you but just if said. You're Chris Brown, it, sh- it should be more. But guess what? Here's the thing. Because now you're famous and you're in the public eye, and you need security. I'm about to fuck you up right now. Mm-hmm. What? Guess what? What? By law, Nick Cannon doesn't have to pay child support. Why? Because he has more than ten kids. Okay. Look it up. I mean, I don't know. In the state of law and child support, if you have ten plus kids, mm-hmm. you can, you do not have to pay child support because they can they they figure it it's you can't afford it, even though we know he can. Nick Cannon and I know two of his beautiful children's mother mm-hmm. very well. Mm-hmm. He's one of those father who's willingly saying, "Boom, boom." Boom. That's why boom, they're all happy, boom. more or less. It, you're very right. Yeah. But if he ever chose to stop doing that, yeah, it would be over. He can't get in trouble. Okay. But, you know. But you just said it's $2,500 a month enough. It's not enough. For one child? That's my, one of his beautiful can children. Can I tell you something? My daycare for my kid, who's three, is in LA, is $1,400. I don't have Chris Brown's kid, I have a regular kid. But. That's here's the thing. What about food? I go food shopping. People are like, you go food shopping every three days. Yes, I do. Now we're not saying that Chris Brown. I'm sure 
You know, he has a, a great mother, the mother of his children. Children. I'm just saying what the child support is. It's but I know enough. Chris. But I know Chris is doing a billion times plus more. I'm, and that's that's what he should well. he should be doing that because he you has know why access. he can. Yes. Yeah, he can. The daughter, the mother, of my children told me. I know guys that's incarcerated that that provide for their children. I said, "Well, bitch, show me where they at. Tell me no, how they doing know. it." No, I don't know about that. Tell me how they doing it. You're not a father. You're a dad. You know she don't. She calls me a sperm donor. <laughs> because I'm not gonna lie, and let's get real. Let's get deeper. Let's go Ocean Gate deep. Mm-hmm. Fucked up. Let, Too soon. No, it's not. <laughs> let's go Ocean Gate deep. Okay. She hated me so much to the point she told me, that's why these ain't your kids. Bye, Craig. Bye, Felicia. Okay. Then I serve her to get a the DNA test. Mm-hmm. They come back, they 100% mine. Okay. Then it comes out, oh, that's why another nigga brought your kids home to fuck with me. Then it comes to find out it was her cousin. I wasn't allowed at the childbirth. I wasn't allowed at the hospital. She mm-hmm. told me these things. You're not going to be there. Yeah, sound familiar, don't it, huh? Mm-hmm. And then, so uh, let me ask you this: if this you, shit hurts, go uh, ahead, continue, uh, Sebash. If if you know the answer to this, right? Obviously, there's a lot of um, questions of morality here, where people have their stance on certain things. But you know, there are solutions. Why did she follow through having the bi- the babies in the first place? She wanted them. She wanted to be a mother? She wanted, she wanted children by me. She told me this. She wanted children by me. Why? I don't if know. She, uh, she wanted children by me. Things happen. So she wanted to be a mom. Yeah. I mean, triplets and twins are running my family or hers at oh, all. Oh, wow. Fluke. At all. And then all of a sudden, later on in the years, I'm shopping with her, mm-hmm. paying $300 for some shit at Target for the kids. Mm-hmm. You know, $300. That's the old magic number, right? And exactly. One target visit is three hundred dollars. The cashiers one target visit. The cashiers are like, oh my God, you have triplets. And all of a sudden, she's like, Well, we actually had four, but we lost one. I said, Bitch, when? <laughs> so you mean to tell me we had quadruplets and you never told me this shit? So she had children by me, beautiful girls, smart, they're funny just like their dad. They look just like me. So look at me and think about me as a woman. Gorgeous. <laughs> they're bilingual, Latina, Latino and, and, and black, and, and they're, they're, they're going through trying to figure out what language they're going to really focus on. Um, but the problem is when we tried the co-parenting thing, mm-hmm. it didn't work out because, one, her oldest daughter hates me. Okay. Me and her got into a big fucking situation. She, the, the, the mother of my children don't play fair. In court, oh, my God. When I say Oscar award-winning actress... Oscar. She said some shit in court one day, Sebastian. The judge had to call recess because I was about to, I almost tried to jump over to that fucking <laughs> fucking so, table and choke the shit out of her ass. Baby mama of the triplets, she has kids from a previous yes. situation. And here's what we talked about earlier, the curses. Mother of my children didn't have a father in her life. Her oldest didn't have a father in her life. I'm going to break that curse. I'm not doing that to my girls. So you, this species over here, mm-hmm. humble yourself. In what way? Humble yourself. What do you mean? In my situation? If you have I a man hum- that's trying and wants to be, because here's the thing, Hold Sebastian. on, so you just told me that I'm valid for not giving him my son. I don't know the address. I didn't say that. I mean, you're valid. You don't know the address, so you can't give him his son, your son. Yeah. But maybe he should y'all should meet up and fucking meet in a public place or a park or something where you could have but we don't get along i've tried to meet him and th- 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 we just had a birthday party and there was a fight and well, i Well that's to going leave. to happen. You know why? Because one of the two parties still have emotions. Yeah. So in my particular situation there's emotions still involved. Yeah, but i'm trying to co-parent. It's just not working well is what i'm saying. Well, what do you feel like you can do to solve this because I can't that do boy anything. needs his father. I can't do anything. There's nothing i that can do. That boy needs his father. Yeah, but his father is you know. Not, I don't know. Not, That's why i'm asking you. Yeah, it's not really it's not it's not working out too well. It's not working out. Why? Because he in his words, he wants to run the show. But it's not his show. And it's not a show. It's a child. 
and that's it. <laughs> like it's not your show, and it's my, and it's not your. You I'm know about what to I'm make you mad when I say this. I don't. I mean, you could try to make me mad. I'm not mad at I him for saying that because it's a boy. Okay, but he doesn't know you like that. My son doesn't know him like that, so he cries. How old is your son? He's three. He cries when he sees him. Like like go. He's, <gasps> like, and my kids used to do that to me. Until well, I was every time in you see him. You every do, time you I, see, yeah, every time you see baby daddy and the kids around, you no, I give them space and all that shit so they can do. Every their time thing. you're like this, every yeah, time because I don't want to be, I don't want because he keep trying to hug me and talk to me and talk, I don't want, I don't want to deal with you. Like, He's I just, probably just trying to show his love, love something to his son to see that mom and dad. Yeah, there's no see mom and dad. There, it's over. Like we're not gonna see nothing. Let me be in the corner and you go do your dad thing and let me know when you're ready so I can take him home. There is no mom and dad. It's over. Maybe in 10 years when she, when I'm calm and maybe he's married with other kids and he doesn't want to deal with me no more, then there could be like, you know, we could we could laugh about it. You don't think your son picks up on that energy at all? The kids do, for sure. Nothing I could do about it. Yes, you can. There's a lot you can do about it. Like what? It's make called, it till you make it. Thank you. Poker face. Don't, I'm not saying you have to allow him to I'm touch you and hug you. I'm a female. I don't want a guy touching me. If I don't okay. want you to touch me, don't fucking touch me. You just heard what me. I said. You don't have, I'm not saying you have to allow him to hug but and But there's not allowing. Guys just do what they want to do because they just bully their way in. It's not It's not like I'm inviting it in. When you say about guys from here on out, say some. Some. Some guys. Yeah, some guys. They, they, they take advantage of their strength over you as a man. You know what I mean? And they try to take advantage of you. And women become like this, like me, because they've been constantly taken advantage of. And you've constantly dated guys who are like that. Damn. Okay. Damn. Uh, that's why I'm not dating. Damn. So, but men create women like me. The men, Some the men, men create you, yeah, women yeah, like and me. And it's the men you mo- chose to date in the uh, first there's, place. There's, bro, the, 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 the amount of good men left is like slim to none. Well, all the good men have women. It's not hard for them to find women. And all the good women. women Fine. You think it's some good women, especially in LA, Sebash? I think some there of are. You I think some of us are good women. We just you just can't find us because we're just we're fucked up. No, man. you can't find you because you on hinge all day. Cause what? Cause y'all on hinge and bumble all day. I'm, I don't have any dating apps. I've never. I, I don't even talk to men. You are talking to two right now? I'm saying I don't date. I'm not dating anybody. I so don't you feel date. like there's no more good men left. That's, that's no, no. I'm saying there's a very slim amount of good. Well, you know, left. okay. So that, I'm I'm gonna extend on this because I keep getting called uh, sissy in our comments all the time. <laughs> oh god, uh, it's my nigga right here. So it's my my one, one one of the things, if I brought this up in the podcast, everyone's like, you know, you have low testosterone boundaries, right? As a man, I'm very well aware of like boundaries. Yeah. If you don't want me touching you, I can pick up on that. If I'm invading your You're personal space, you're a different space, type of man. No, I think there I'm are a lot. I think there are a lot of men that understand boundaries. No, I think there are a lot don't. of men that understand no, a female's don't. body language. That yes, they do. Th- if Not you approach them, them and they no. don't like you, they flinch right away. You're like, okay, cool, I got you. Fist bump, right? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> like there's, there's, yeah. I mean, there's, there's. You read a situation. I think a lot of guys are very well aware. How many? That, well, how many? A lot. Or yeah, half, I mean, it's or a some. percentage. Some we don't know, but it's a percentage. Okay, but some are a strong percentage. A strong percentage. Some aren't, right? I pick up on body language. Okay, but like some said, men don't. Well. They don't care, right? Okay. And some, so, so forty percent of women statistically have been in situations where they've been sexually assaulted. Forty percent. That's statistics. So realistically, it should be like fifty or sixty percent. So, so we make fear. If no, but if you hug me and you you grab my ass, that's sexual assault. Yeah, damn straight. And that's not that's like a light sexual assault. There's like real sexual. If you're trying to kiss me and I don't want to kiss you, that's sexual assault. Don't fucking touch me. If you're if you can overpower me and I'm in a situation where I feel unsafe even if you didn't fuck me that's sexual assault Mm -hmm. and that shit changes you if a man tries to use his fucking physical strength to make you feel like you're weak and uncomfortable and you're fucking scared that changes you forever and you become an animal and and, and then you're like well why are you like this because of men like you not you but you know what I'm saying the only reason why that is is because I used to do that with my the mother my oldest it's like once you have a baby mother and you have a child with them, we always feel like we can still get that whenever we want. Well, that's not true. That's just a man thing okay. for some. And I, I I used to do that when I was still trying to be with my ex, the oldest of my I keep fucking the oldest my oldest mother back in high school, after high school, I still loved her. So when I would see her, you, I would still try to be on her. Exactly. You until still one loved day her. I got it. Like she don't she ain't fucking with me. Right. But well, that we don't took like me that. on my time to realize it. But I was persistent for like two years. 
But what I'm saying is that affects say women. Once or twice, Stop, th- like that affects us. You know what I'm saying? That that affects us forever. That shit is like a scar. So it's pretty clear to see you're clocked out. You're done. Just be a father. Who me? No, you, you're clear, clearly clocked out. You and baby father. We're clocked out. Like you're clocked out. You're done. Like dude, like just she be a needs father. To be. Yeah, I'm clocked out. Just be a father. But we, but it's not. But I'm not saying that he doesn't want to be a father. It's just, it's just. I feel like he's jealous of me in some ways. Watch this, Sebastian. This is how you always get him. Let me ask you a question. Yes. What's some good things about your baby's father? As a father or as mm, a person? As a person. No, which which one? As a father. As a as father. A, as a father, the good things about him is during holidays. And birthdays, he does in, his intention is good, even though the outcome doesn't turn out good. His intention is good, but it never, but it always becomes a disaster. But I show up every time, but then he fucks it up. Listen, I said name the good. I just did. But you're reverting to negative. Okay, so yeah, his intentions no, no, no. sometimes are good. An intention is a negative. No, it's not. Yes, it is. No, it's his intent. He. Means- I intended to make you happy today. But something went wrong. I want you to no, sh- because some people have bad intentions. So I'm saying he has. Sometimes he has okay. good intentions, but it doesn't. So, and this is what women do, out. Sebastian. When you ask them the pros and cons, a woman could tell you maybe five good things about you, they, but they can a- name, they can machine. Yeah. Uh, fucking all the bad shit. I'm just simply asking you name the good shit. As a father, as a person, as a person, Both, I have, actually, as a person, there's zero. As a father, um, like I said, his intention is good. He he can do more physical activity than I could. Like as a man, like he could play more than I could. I can't play like that. I can't run around. Like he has more stamina than me. Um, she gotta gotta think too. Yeah, of course I have to think. I'm not just it's not like off the top of my head. Like what's good about because it? Because well, that might be program. a good therapeutic practice. Yeah. Is to start. No, we went about to therapy the pro- once, and the therapist asked me, "What are three things you like about him?" I couldn't think of one. His Damn. dick, his height, and no, his icon. No, 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 no. He said it couldn't <laughs> no, be physical. Like, that's what she liked in the first place. That's why yeah. she got herself relax, in a mess. Relax. Mm-hmm. Um, it's facts. Yeah. So, like I said, good-looking men don't make good partners. Yeah, okay. I, don't don't say that on your show. That's that how sounds I feel. very shallow. How of you? That's how I feel. I've dated uh, some good looking men. They start dating ugly niggas then. I'm trying. I'm working on it. It's just hard to get it's hard to get through. You know what I mean? Like cuz when when you're attracted to a certain thing, it's hard to go to like a, a guy who's like super ugly, so you just don't want anything. I so I've been surrounded by a lot of beautiful women recently. I've been throwing a lot of events. Uh last weekend we had a concert at our place that was like 500 people. Oof. Prior to that, we had another concert it was like 220 people roll through. Cream of the crop. Every it's a well curated, you know, sort of environment. And I actually had a girl tell me that I was ugly, and quickly, shortly thereafter, tell me that I was adorable. Wow! And I actually, in that she was toasted, <laughs> uh, she was lit up. Right? I was, and I'm like, glad you're glad you're having fun, right? But I thought it was funny that those two in her head were very closely related. Mm-hmm. Adorable, because she then backtracked. She's like, oh, you have a really nice, beautiful smile. You're really cute. You're adorable. But mm-hmm. in her head, that it was the equivalent of ugly. Not fuckable. Well, because, right? Because, yeah. Go ahead. So I'm I'm just pointing this out. Like, the the idea of, like, adorable or sweet, it, it's not. It's saying you're ugly. Yeah. It's, it's, it might as well be I must just be ugly because that. that's all they tell me. You're so sweet. You're so sweet. You're, you're so adorable. adorable. Bitch, I'm fine. But here's the thing. Mm-hmm. Physical, t- physical, physical, physicalities doesn't make or break because my ex, I'm not going to say her name. She was, she used to be on radio. People who know, know. And we broke up, bad breakup. And the dude she with now, she ended up marrying. Mm-hmm. And I'm very happy for her. He's very educated. Um, very, very curated in as far as knowledge about mental health. But he ain't much to look at mm-hmm. at all. Right. And she went the total opposite because she used to tell me, Giovanni, you're a liability. Mm-hmm. When I'm not with her, I would go out. And women would stop and, women and talk would be to you, right? on me. Yeah, we don't like that. We don't want that. But now with this guy, they've been married But you don't now. like the opposite either. We're trying to, we're working on it. You stomach it. You, you, you like, that's, we're that's, working that's, on it. That's, 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 on that's it. how I feel about women who like settle for like the ugly or they're adorable. You, you stomach it. It's like, it's Damn, something you tolerate. You, you tolerate it. 
Well, we we don't uh, want the, a man wh- that wants why, why? that every woman wants. We don't want that. It's too much. Because then you're like, oh, then they then feel like but, they're but, but the you don't, prize. You don't. You also don't want the man who's not wanted. Yep. Come on, you're not man. attracted know, to the guy who's why, not there's, wanted. There's an epidemic of single people because it's hard to find good people. Are you secure? Yeah. Do you think you find? Yeah, I think I'm. I don't think I'm a ten model twenty year old. I mean, I think I'm cute, but I'm not gonna say See, I'm like. A, that's I'm where a ten- it stems from. What? If you talking about oh that's a problem we don't want a, a man that every girl wants because I know I'm fine as fuck I don't care if I got abs or not I'm fine as fuck I got personality I'm funny I'm talented so if my girl go out and niggas try to get at her that makes my dick hard I love it because they want to fuck her and they can't but it's not the same because men fuck anything that's true but listen. <laughs> It's very true. It's very fucking true. Right. So it's different. So if a woman loves you, she's not going to cheat on you. It's, it's not facts. the same thing for a man. But you know what's crazy? A man can love you and still cheat on you. Yeah, that's what I just said. You're right. So that's why we don't want to deal with it. But everybody cheats. You've cheated. No, no. You've never cheated in your life. You're fucking lie. Mm-mm. You're fucking lie. No, I'm not. You're I lying. Mean, what, what do you consider cheating? Fucking? No, emotional cheating is real. No, yeah. Emotional yeah. cheating is the women worst. Women emotionally yeah, cheat. I've emotionally cheated oh. a long time ago. It doesn't matter how long ago it was. You, you cheated. Still did it. It's not the same as a guy going out and fucking. I There's no my emotions bitch. in it. Thank you. Right. Thank you, Sebastian. Okay. My not, yeah. not that I'm entirely defending the position. No, listen. <laughs> I could go fuck a girl right now. Not saying that I am. I could go fuck a girl right now and be like, thank you, and go home and be and baby, hey, baby. Not think about you again. And not yeah, even think it, about but you. But if she knows women, about it, she's not going to feel the same way about you after a while. She's going to start women, to hate you. When a woman cheats and fucks a dude, it's something that their boyfriend is lacking thereof. Yeah, Emotional yeah. cheating is the worst. Well, that's because he's fucking other girls. So you're emotionally No, it's che- not. When a man wo- gets your mind. You're not understanding what I'm saying. When, you're, when your boyfriend's out there cheating on you, then that's how you become talking to other guys. You no. Need, yeah. No, that's not true. Okay. Cause I know a lot of women that get cheated on and still say solid to the game. Oh, that's what you people expect Who's from you women. People? From that's what men expect from women. That I didn't say all. I said some. I, I'm again. I'm not, I'm not entirely solid. I'm, to the I'm not. Game. No, I'm not defending. I'm not. I'm not, I'm not doing that. I'm not defending the the cheating position altogether. I'm not doing that. Why but is that I don't a cheat. fucking thing? I don't cheat though. I don't cheat. I've never cheated on my girl. My, my girl. My current girl. Good. I've yeah. cheated watching porn. Imagine myself fucking the shit out this porn girl, but that's about it. Okay. Oh, I forgot what I was going to say, actually. <laughs> All right, we go wrap up. Why is there a fucking tissue on the table? Because I was cleaning your fucking forehead. Oh. <laughs> so the overview of today's show about co-parenting, well, I have my opinion, Sebastian, and we just... <laughs> <laughs> she want more than three hundred dollars, y'all. When a lot of these women out here ain't getting shit, that's not okay, though. Oh my god, I'm not that's saying it's not, not okay. okay. I, I'm gonna I, I end the conversation like I would anytime I end the conversation with you. Like you just need to make the call, cut it out of your life, move on and move forward. What do you on mean, make own. the call? I don't know. On her end, but what I call? Be a parent, one hundred percent, on her own. She's too. I'm a parent on my no, own. No, that's not going to happen. Well, no, because you you, you still happen. try to like let this other situation. You're too angry about it. That man wants It'll to never... be a father to his child. That's never going to happen. Trust me, never. Okay. Yeah, I don't. I don't think he'll let up. But no. she also he, as he should call. as he should. Okay. Fuck bitches, get money. I know. And then I'm about to go get some tacos and shawarma. Yeah, we we had it one. We had it on the show once. We have to bring it back. Like a buck, a mukbang. Um, <gasps> that, no, we won't do that. I'm okay. trying to lose weight. <laughs> All right. This was actually a great episode. Yes. Uh, I thank you guys very much for joining us on another episode of Tacos and Shawarma. Thank you very much, Giovanni. Thank you. Very so much appreciated your perspective. Uh, yes. I love you. Love you too, man. It's been a great show. I love you. Love you too. Thank you for having me, guys. Yeah, of course.